All right, we're halfway through our trek and the sun's being nice to us. It's not so hot now and I'm pretty, pretty much enjoying the, the weather. But uh, Arul, where are we right now? Where are we right now? What's the plan? Yeah, as you just put it, we are almost halfway through. We are at an altitude of... Uh, 400? 370. Man, I want to get higher. I want to get higher. Higher as possible. But then when we look at uh, the GPS system, it's showing 20, 12 degrees, 36 minutes latitude and 79 degrees longitude. Now say that again in English. Okay. I cannot really say it in English, but uh -huh. I, I can tell you in the language of map. Yeah, so I'll mean. pinpoint exactly where we are. That'll help. Yeah. So we are exactly here on 36 minutes. Almost close to the midpoint to our destination. That is, destination. The, what's it called? It's called Bo Bovanur. 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 That's where we're headed. Bovanur. Yeah. We're going to be meeting a few tribals over there. Exactly. Yeah. But uh, for now, it's uh, for now it's just chilling out a little bit, uh, undressing, sipping on some cold water, taking a dip probably, spotting a few birds. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we're feeling a lot better after that dip. Yes, very much. Rejuvenated, fresh. Obvious. Re-energized. Re after all the dive and jumping into the water, it's just awesome. I'm just, I'm just happy that you that I have Arul with the head. Because <laughs> over here, it's not safe unless you know the pool really well. Exactly. Nice, superb. So what, so what we're going to do is we have another two hours of trekking to do. We might need to trek in the night. It's already six and sun is down. And it's going to get, it's going to get very scary. It's going to get adventurous. And uh, we might bump into a to an elephant or a bison. Oh, I'm so excited! Come on. Possibilities are there always. Just, Let's just see. stick by me, and you'll be fine. Okay. Okay. Let's just do it. Right now, there is a deviation to the left that we've got to take. Okay. <clears throat> that is, we've got to take the we've got to take the route in the valley right there, because the Bovanur village, the tribal village, is just on the other side of this hill. My God. So we've got to reach there. Yeah, we've got to reach there for the night stay. We, it's just not safe to you know stay anywhere else. Right, Aru, we finally made it to Bhuvanur village yeah. after a 10 kilometer trek. Yeah, exactly. Um, well, um, it's really late. We're supposed to be here in two hours earlier. At least two hours. But uh, this, this village has turned in because they, they must be going to sleep early. They sleep very early over here because like uh, when the daylight is gone, they don't have much of work to do. So they usually go to sleep early. True, understandable. But Arul's been in touch with them through the panchayat and uh, we're in touch with a couple of people from this village and uh, they've been expecting us. So they're definitely awake somewhere. We've got to go find them. We're also going to be cooking dinner. We've got provisions with us. Wow, this is like an entire assembly line. You just saw, saw Arun working on the coconut and uh, Arul's busy here with chapati. Okay, so... Uh, well, you guys seem like you guys are professionals. You guys do this often? Quite often. Uh, you've, you've made this your passion and your your passion, your job, right? Yep. Of just, you know, uh, you started off as a passionate trekker and then you moved so on I'm, to... I've been a trekker for years and then just couple, last couple of years, Ecologan came in and then... Okay, and so Ecologan happened and then you, you, you're the founding member? One of the founding. Me and Sridhar are the founding members of Ecologan. Awesome, superb. But also, uh, on the other side, you have the chicken being uh, uh, nicely cut and cleaned. So let's go check that out. He's going to town with that chicken. He's nicely cleaning it, taking out all the insides. So we'll have some good, nice chicken. I can't wait for it to actually go on the fire and we'll grill the chicken. Mm, it'll be tasty. And I know natakori is even tastier than the regular chicken that you get uh, in the cities. This is yummy stuff. Let me introduce to you the most res responsible and the most resourceful man in this village. 
Kupan Anna, he's to my right. He's the man who actually woke up the entire village for us and got this kitchen going. He's got his hands and legs everywhere and he's so good with everything that he does. He's a multitasker. He's good with people. He's got his family members here. He's brought ingredients, extra ingredients from his house as well. Uh, and a beautiful flute. I'm going to give up. My roti looks like a uh, yogi bear. Kupan and his men will not let us sit in the kitchen for too long. In the outdoor kitchen, I mean. They will not let us help them because they want to, you know, be the ones who are hosting us. So they're being nice enough. Uh, we're going to leave them and get busy with pitching a tent. It had been a long and tiring day and pitching a tent now would seem like the end of the world. But not so with the sort of outdoor friendly tent that Arul carried with him. We placed the tent on a flat surface, placed two rods diagonally on it, slotted them in the right loops and raised the tent to take the shape of the two concave rods. This tent was up and ready in no time. It had its own mosquito net and even a provision for ventilation. How cool is that? In this episode, where do I park my Bajaj Discover DTSSI before I head out for my trek? Your options are A. Bhuvanur Village B. Shenbagatop Dam C. Padevide Or is it D. Velour Fort Coming up on the other side, we discover the habitants of Bhuvanur Village. We stay with them, we eat with them and we live with them. Stay tuned to find out more.